welcome back now more of api controller attribute today so in this lecture which will be again a bit theoretical because there is not much scope to do in actual visual studio but i will be teaching a lot of code snippets and we'll be explaining a little bit on those snippets on this slide so please watch on so we shall discuss the attribute routing requirement and we should look into the automatic http 400 responses in detail so automatic this 400 is status bad request that is bad request code status code that is um, returned in a web api as a response and attribute routing requirement the api controller attribute makes attribute routing requirement as in the example below so it's a route api slash controller this is the controller name if it is a product controller then it will be replaced by product okay api slash product in that case so api controller attribute is um, what we are talking about so here a values controller class is derived from the controller base class this means the actions are inaccessible via conventional routes defined by use mvc or use mvc with default route in the configure method of the startup class so in this code this api controller api controller attribute makes the attribute routing a requirement okay so again this means the actions within this values controller class are inaccessible via conventional routes so what are the conventional routes so let's talk about that for a second now in conventional routing there is a default route which is you know i'll just speak it out routes dot map route within bracket um, circular bracket default as a string comma there is another parameter within double quotes controller equals home slash within curly braces action equals index slash within curly braces id question mark and then um, this um, double quotes closed now if you listen to what i have said routes dot map route is basically the way the routes were used to be mapped in asp.net framework earlier for mvc so that was in that example it was known as a conventional routing so we call this style conventional routing because it is establishing a convention for url paths and the first path segment maps to the controller name that is the default you know and the second maps to the action name and the third segment is used for an optional id used to map to a model identity so controller if it is home default is the home controller and default action was index action so just recall for it is for those of you who are already familiar with asp.net mvc in the dotnet framework so using this default route the url path say front slash product slash list maps to the product controller dot list action and front slash blog slash article slash 17 maps to blog controller dot article so this mapping is based on the controller and action names only and isn't based on namespaces or anything else source file location or method parameters so now back to our slideshow so there is automatic 400 response 400 is a bad request the bad request status code is automatically triggered if there are validation errors so if api controller attribute is applied so this the following code is not necessary earlier we used to check in asp.net conventional mvc if not model state dot is valid return bad request but that is not necessary so long as this api controller attribute is applied okay at the controller level now default bad request response now if you have got asp.net code 2.2 compatibility version is asp.net 2.0 asp.net code 2.2 or later the default response type for http 400 response is 
validation problem details that is another class now to change the default response to serializable error set the suppress use validation problem detail for invalid model state responses property to true in startup dot configure services in the configure services method of the startup class as shown here so after this compatibility version you got this dot configure api behavior options and options is a parameter that goes to um, set the suppress use validation problem details for invalid model state responses property so this is the yellow highlighted set this to true and this will suppress as the name suggests suppress use validation problem details for invalid model state responses so if there is invalid model state response or then it suppresses the use validation problem details okay so that case it will set the default response to serializable error so that is you know you can look for what is a serial serializable error but i can tell you quickly what it is now serial error is serializable error class defines a serializable container for storing model state information this information is stored as key value pairs so i will just bring in the microsoft document for this and you can have a quick look so this is the serializable error class and it inherits inheritance is dictionary serializable error dictionary okay so it requires system dot collections dot generic namespace now next is customize bad request response to customize the response that results from a very dished error use invalid model state response factory dot factory invalid model state response factory now add the following highlighted code after the services dot add mvc dot set compatibility version so this is the entire code snippet code block that actually is customizing a bad request response so you can just have a look this is uh, i think self explanatory so after this setting the compatibility version uh, the developer is i mean bringing configure api behavior options and options is a parameter so options dot invalid model state response factory equals context and that points to and this is the customized um bad request response so problem details equals initialization of new validation problem details class is initialized and then context is actually injected context dot model state and now then type title status detail and instance are all actually assigned and this way you can configure or customize a bad request response So you can have a look. The type is you pointing to any URL of your choice, and you can give it a title. You can give it a status. Status codes dot status 400 bad request. Like you can give it a detail, and I think this instance has to be the same. It has to remain the same, and it return new bad request object result problem details, and content types application slash problem plus JSON. okay now log automatic 400 response now there is a github issue by microsoft and they have um commented on how to log automatic 400 responses on model validation errors and how to disable automatic 400 okay now how to log automatic 400 response was taken by this uh, article on github and to disable the automatic 400 behavior set the suppress model state invalid filter property to so now you can see that it is highlighted you know uh, after the set compatibility version and this is configure api behavior options on options goes to this entire thing and out of which this is the portion that you have to write to suppress the automatic 400 errors okay options dot suppress model state invalid filter equals true 
okay that's all for today